Hello widget watchers, welcome back to another video, in this video we are going to see how we can create these radio list tile with the description and the custom color. So let's start the video. So here I've this empty project with a column and a text widget. Now come above here and here create a list of string which will contain our radio elements. So here I've this string list. Then here create a string variable as selected value and assign the empty string to it. Then come inside this build method, and from here remove this text widget, and here we will add the radio list tile. So here add radio button items list, then we will map through each element with a widget. Now here let's return our widget, so here add radio list tile, then remove the const from here. Then remove these square brackets, and below here add to list. Now our this radio list tile have three required parameter, value, group value, and unchanged. So here for value parameter add the selected value string, then for group value add the radio button lists item. Then our this unchanged method will return a value parameter. Now inside this function assign this value to our selected value parameter, then add the set state, so that whenever the value is changed, our UI will get notified. And also add the null checker sign after this value, because this value parameter is nullable. Now let's add the title for this radio list tile, so here add the title parameter then add a text widget, and inside it add the item string. Now save the code, and as you can see the list of radio button is appeared as expected. Now let's perform some action, so here I'm tapping on this item 1, but nothing is changing. So here I guess we have some issue, so let's fix this. So this issue is coming because we have assigned the wrong value to wrong parameter, so from here just swap the value. Add the selected value to the group value, and item to the value. Now let's save the code, and now here state is getting updated all the time as expected. Now let's add the subtitle to our list tile. So here add the subtitle property, and then assign the text widget to it, and add your subtitle here. Now save the code. And here we go, subtitle is appeared. Now let's change the radio color, so for doing that, here add the active color property, and assign any color to it, I've assigned the red color to it, now save the code, and as you can see the radio button's color is changed. So that was it for the basic implementation of radio list tile widget. So if you learned something new from this video, then please gives a thumbs up on the video, and comment down what you want to learn next, and if you haven't subscribed to Widget Wisdom, then please do that.